If you're gonna go looking for a house, make sure it's not Satan's house. It's a word of advice. Might keep you alive. As above, so below. So as above, so below is a found footage movie. I know what you're thinking. You're like, I've seen it all before. And you have seen it all before, a lot of it before. But it does have some really cool elements in it that make you go, oh, that's cool. So in as above, so below, there's this absurdly perfect girl. I swear to God, she has like five PhDs, speaks five languages, and she's, you know, 20 something. She's really attractive. And they have to do that for a plot convenience. So she's really efficient and she can get this guy to go with her to these creepy ass places. She's searching for the Philosopher's Stone. So they make a plan to go to Hogwarts and knock out Harry Potter and take that. That shit. That or the gates of hell, yeah. Depending on who you talk to, it's the same. Name's Harry Potter's is the devil's books. So this girl and her nomadic kind of boyfriend love interest isn't really her boyfriend, but you know, there's something. And a crew of a few expendables go into these catacombs looking for this treasure and these catacombs, of course, go deeper and deeper and deeper and they ultimately, it's kind of like the gates of hell. Which is very, very bad for them. This movie has its cliches for sure. Other than the main girl and her kind of boyfriend and the main tour guide guy, I wouldn't call him a tour guide, but he's their main guide who's taking them into these catacombs. Other than them, this movie has a fully expendable cast. It's like, hey, red Star Trek shirt people, start dying. The devil really wants to kill the black guy in this movie. The guy narrowly escapes death a few times, but you're like, man, Satan's really out for that dude. The cool thing comes when they start seeing really creepy things. There are really cool visuals in this movie and the sound is really eerie. And that's the key right there. Eli Roth has this quote. I'm not even the biggest Eli Roth fan, to be honest with you, but this quote is so perfect for horror movies that I gotta give the guy props. I love the quote so much I'm about to misquote it right here but I apologize but the quote is something like if you want to make a horror movie not scary cover your ears not your eyes and that's so perfect it is the sound that makes a horror movie creepy and this movie has that element in it you hear kids cackling you have really creepy imagery going along with the sound really cool edits that add effect again you've seen it in horror movies before you've seen it in found footage movies definitely but there's something really claustrophobic and vulnerable about this movie this movie does a good job unlike a lot of other found footage movies is putting you in the first person of these people who are going through these catacombs. A couple times it was the view of the helmet cam and I was like, I feel like I'm running from these things right now. And that's really awesome. Found footage movies, generally speaking, have a slow build up. This movie's no exception, but this movie does have a leg up on other found footage movies in that department. And that is the fact that while this movie's going through its slow build up phase before like the demons and shit are chasing them down before they're hallucinating and seeing things, they're going through catacombs or solving puzzles and shit. There's booby traps like Goonies and whatnot. When you're going through catacombs and there are booby traps and there are hieroglyphs on the wall and the reading it, that's a lot cooler than camera number three in the guest bedroom showing you something in the closet. <laughs> a ghost in the closet. Boo! Here to scare you. And when the shit goes down in this movie, the shit really goes down in this movie and it was really intense. And I liked the ending. I feel like As Above So Below was a found footage movie made for fans of found footage movies. They're fans of the genre, they know what they're getting into, they know they're gonna watch this movie and see things they've seen before, but it has enough cool elements in it to where they're gonna be like, oh, I hadn't actually seen that before. So although this movie does have a slow startup and predominantly a cast you don't give a shit about. You're there to watch him die or suffer or some shit. You've seen a lot of things in this movie before. I did find enjoyment in the movie because I like me some good horror movies and the found footage genre has been pretty stale lately. Know what you're getting into when you're going into this movie. If you don't like found footage movies at all, you're not going to like this movie. If you're a fan of the genre but you feel like they've been lacking lately, I'd say give it a try. I will say As Above So Below is a good time. No alcohol required. So As Above So Below, have you seen it? What did you think about it. Whatever you thought, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.